welcome, thanks for joining me for another quick fitness video. So as always, make sure you've done your warm up beforehand, especially for this session, because it is a high intensity interval training set. Okay, uh, and uh, so I'll show you the exercises first, then we'll do a set together. Then if you'd like to do more, uh, then of course just rewind to the part where I do the set with you, so you can do it again. Okay, I recommend uh, two or three sets of this with a nice minute to two minute break in between. Okay, but I'll just do the one with you, right? So I got the clock here like this as well. We're going to be working with 30 seconds at a time with a 15 second break in between. Okay, so let me show you the exercise we're doing. Okay, so this is a little uh, run side to side that you can do with very little space. See, like the length of a yoga mat is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take a like a stance with one leg forward facing the length uh, of my mat and I'm going to drop down in like a sprinting stance and touch the ground, okay? So the front leg, right, is the opposite hand, right, is to the opposite hand that I have on the ground. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to step my back leg into the middle and pivot on it. Maybe let's move this get in the way a bit, I'll pivot on the back leg and swing through with the other leg, which was the back leg, okay? So then I'll drop down and touch the ground with the opposite hand to the foot in front in the center. So then I bring the back leg into the center, pivot off of it so the other foot becomes the back leg, touch the ground. So then it's the foot and hand in the center. So you see, we're gonna come up, switch, touch down, come up, switch, and touch down, okay? So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds as fast as we can, okay? Then we're going to do uh, a single leg deadlift action into a knee lift with a slight hold, okay? So from this position here, we're going to, again, sort of take a sprinting stance, keeping my knee bent, my chest coming forward, and this time I can touch with both hands. Then I'm going to drive my hips forward as I lift the knee for a light, little hold, dropping straight back down. Okay, this is to work our hamstrings a little bit. Of course, if you wanted to extra weight, you could put a resistance band under this knee and drive your knee through like this. Or of course, if you had weights in either hand, that is another way to add extra resistance. But it's, you know, decently hard without weights anyway, okay? So we'll do about 15 seconds on this side, and then 15 seconds on the other side, okay? If you're doing multiple sets, especially an even amount of sets, then of course, feel free to just do the one leg, and then uh, do the other leg in the next set, okay? Then we're going into some swimming. So if you've done my ab video and back video, this is for our back, but because we're trying to work a little bit harder, if you can, try to uh, do a small lift, but keep, your hands and legs up as much as possible. So in the other one, we did a bit more control, like this. For this one, try to keep your hands and feet up and swim like this, okay? It doesn't matter if you're in perfect synchronized action, but that'll work our back, okay? And uh, with a bit more pace, to get our, keep our heart rate up as well. Our last one is combo sprawl, okay? So you take whichever fighting stance you like, Okay, if you're in a shorter space, you might want to take a, a close stancing guard and we're going to be working a different, whatever techniques you like. Make sure you add in some defensive movements, right? And as well as some kicking. When I say sprawl, just touch your belly to the ground. Get back up and then get back to work. Okay, if you don't want to go all the way down each time like that, okay, then just try to squat down and the sumo style is probably better. You'll get it a little bit lower till you can touch the floor with your hands. Then get straight back into your combo, okay? So that's the set, okay? I'll remind you, of course, uh, in the rests as well, okay? So, this has a 10 second lead in. So when I press start, you know, we'll have 10 seconds to get ready so I can get back to my mat, okay? So, first with the side on runs, okay? Get ready. So take your first position. Set, let's go, so see, run side to side, so come up and pivot, and then drop, up, 
pivot drop. Nice and fast. Okay, if you got more space, then you can go a little bit further distance, of course, make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, let's go. I don't really see the clock, so I can't tell you how, how close we are to the finish. I'm sure we're almost done. All right, rest. Okay, then we've got those single leg deadlifts, okay? I'm gonna have to try to read the clock uh, backwards on the screen to tell us, well, tell me when to switch legs. Okay, get ready. Let's go. Pushing in. Of course, like I said, if you are just doing, uh, if you're doing, uh, let's say four sets, you can just do one leg the whole time. That'll work a little bit harder. Otherwise, switch legs now. Yeah, drive from the hips. That should make it into your hamstrings. Little hold at the top. Okay, good. Rest. Swimming next. Okay. On your belly. Try to get your hands and feet off the ground the whole time. Ready? Let's go. Keep your eyes down so your neck is straight. Go back to more control if you start to fatigue. And rest. Okay, last one of the set, and then you're gonna have a one to two minute break, uh, or just finish up. Okay, get ready, combo sprawl. Set. Let's go, nice and sharp, fast technique. Remember to do some defensive movements, some kicks as well. Sprawl. Straight back up as fast as you can. Then working in again. Sprawl. 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 Good job. Okay. So now either about one to two minute rate, uh, rest and then get into a second, third or fourth set. Otherwise, you can move it on to uh, my stretching uh, video to finish up. Okay, join me.